Welcome back to another episode and today I am doing a first impressions on my Beaker competition disc golf bag. Uh, more specifically, this is the second iteration of the bag, I believe. Second or third, I'm pretty sure it's the second. Which I just got today, so this is very much first impressions. However, if you go back in my videos, I have the original bag. I believe to be the original bag as well. So I do have some experience sort of with this setup. So what I want to do is just make a quick comparison video for anyone who's maybe still got the old bag and they're considering moving forward or if you are just looking for a 10 to 18 disc bag that's really small and convenient, this is a great option, this bag in general. So let's go over some of the differences right out, right out, right out of the gates. Uh, the powder, wow, putter pouch on the on the front is essentially the same it's a little bit tighter on the new one i think i, I generally i would put two putters in in the uh, initial bag uh, this one seems to be more fitted for the one putter they have updated the zipper poles to match some of their other bags so this old nvp zipper pole these are actually pretty nice uh these are great too though I haven't had any issues with this and the zipper itself is actually much better I'm, This is the same on the uh, one of their other newer bags too. It's the exact same zipper feel feels great uh, On the side they have eliminated this second pocket So here they've got two they've got dividers. So you've got two different pocket options This is actually pretty nice having the two it fit a mini really well I'm okay with there just being one. I mean, mostly you're just throwing your phone in here anyhow. They both still have the marker or pencil, really, holder on the side. On the inside, it's essentially the same pocket. I think they advertise that you can put putters in here, which looks to still be true on the newer one. Uh, I wouldn't do that. I put personal belongings in here. Now, the main reason why I picked this bag up is because of what you see here. This is the strap going all the way down at least to the bottom of the bag. I didn't look inside to see if it wraps completely around, but it would make sense that it would uh, just be one piece of strap. The original bag does not do this. And this is exactly the portion that failed me. So I was able to get a good amount of stitching here to address the issue, but this is pretty compromised. It, it's life, lifetime is probably pretty short moving forward. Whereas on the new bag, they 100% address this. It runs, the strap runs all the way through. We are not going to have the same issue. I am super thankful for that because I did really like this smaller bag. It's just great to have in my car. Quick grab, smaller rounds. I'm doing a trilogy competition where I'm only going to have three discs uh, in the next month. And this is going to be perfect for that. I don't need to bring my Zuka cart uh, or any of my other bags. This is exactly what I need to bring. Uh, the other change I did not realize until I picked this up was on the back we do not have the additional hoops and normally that would be fine but i did i was hoping to use the back straps from mvp on this i never used it on this one but it would have been nice and i do not have that option again i did not realize so if that's a big deal to you you've got four connecting points here on the original bag these have been eliminated on the smaller bag in retrospect it does kind of make sense I, I can't imagine many people using a full set of backpack straps for a bag that's this small and this lightweight even when you put your drink in here your keys your phone it's I mean there's no there's no reason it's overkill uh, the pockets are different 
same pocket on their other bags current current run of bags this thing's great stretchy fits a nalgene bottle no problem this one uh i had no problem with it. it had a zip tie it could fit pretty much any size bottle really which was nice uh still both have drain holes in them the pocket here on the side this is like a, a phone pocket that's how i use it anyhow uh, it still should fit my iphone 12. they had kind of a floppy this pocket was weird on this one not a fan of the outside pocket on the original bag never was it did fit a golden retriever and some bug spray which was nice i guess you could still fit that in this pocket this main pocket so not totally necessary uh, on the bottom we've got the updated nodules so it's just more of a flat grippy uh, rubber pad here these work just fine these are better uh, this is a better built piece of uh, material these do the job though these I've got zero problem with this uh, as far as capacity goes for discs it looks to be the same to me uh, really no change on the inside they do this thing where if you don't have the divide I've got it comes with two dividers so I've got the two in here now uh, that gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 discs in here. Uh, without the dividers, I could easily fit two more. And that is an option. You take the dividers out and then you can run the discs the long way. So that is an option in these bags. I never did that in the other, but it does kind of make sense uh, to have that as an option. And yeah, again, first impressions video. Uh, love the idea of having a small bag on hand. This should work great for my upcoming competition since I'm only going to be carrying three discs. And yeah, again, if you're looking for a smaller bag, 20 bucks. You can't beat this price. They've addressed the issue. If you, if you would have asked me a year ago, I would say no, don't get it for the 20 bucks because of the flaw that was built in to this one. I didn't know it at the time when I did the review. I was pretty excited to have the bag. They have since addressed it. 20 bucks, Amazon. Definitely worth every dollar. Thanks for watching.